hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I'm really excited to share a new project that I created for the Loaded Envelope Galore group on Facebook. The theme for this month was mermaids and I just had so much fun. For this project, I decided to use a pastel color palette and I incorporated colors of light coral as well as this turquoise blue. As you can see, I have filled my loaded envelope with fun goodies, so let's get started. I created this floral spray here on the bottom of the envelope, and then I found this beautiful mermaid image that's sitting on a seahorse. I fussy cut her out four times. I also used my Martha Stewart glitter paint to add some dimension to her, so she's got this really pretty iridescent glow. I used this blue glitter tool here, which I thought was so pretty, to mimic the look of water. I created an asymmetrical pocket here and I lined it with this beautiful pearl drop trim and again used the tool to line the pocket. In the first pocket I've included this package filled with fun fibers. Here we have an organza peach ribbon and then I've also included this linen ribbon that's lined with a peach lace trim. I thought that was so pretty. And then I created this fun bottle cap charm Inside is a picture of a mermaid and I use some of my glass beads to add dimension to it. I've included this pretty peach bow and then of course this very pretty enhancement and she can simply take this off and use it as she wishes. I've used a Martha Stewart punch. This is called French scroll to create the bag topper. I included these pretty flowers. I used my Martha Stewart punch to create the bag topper and just lined it with coordinating paper. I used my Creative Time scallop bow die and I also created this peach bow here with my Martha Stewart bow punch and I used a Sizzix cut and emboss die to create this fun little seahorse and then I used another die to create this cute little mermaid image. On the bottom of the envelope here, you can see I've got more of this pearl bead trim. I just love the way this looks. It just reminds me of the pearls of the sea. In the second pocket, I've included this little envelope and I fussy cut this gold foil image of the mermaid and included more of that scallop trim on the top. Inside, I've included some fun die cuts of mermaids. I've got some pretty seahorses. And this is pretty kissing seahorses. I also included these fun vintage cards. I like this one. This is Mermaid Martini. <laughs> I found these fun uh, vintage mermaid tags and on the front each of them has a unique image and then on the back I included a fun inspirational mermaid. On the Whoa. top here again I used my scallop punch border and I also lined it with this pretty gold foil trim with the seashells and seahorses on it. These are two more tags that I made. I really tried to use a lot of the vintage and Art Nouveau mermaid images. I just thought they were so pretty and also went with the color scheme that I was working with. I created this fun little embellished paper clip. I've got this beautiful rose with a little pearl inside. I made these fun bottle cap charms. And here's a closer image of the bottle charms. Each of these are different. I found these vintage little charms that I thought were so pretty. And we've got a little seashell here. Here's a mermaid. Uh, here's another little mermaid and then another seashell. And each of these I've embellished with glass beads as well as glitter. This is my wand. I really love the way this turned out. I used some really fun fibers. You've got this light peach organza. You've got some glittered iridescent tulle. I also used this sparkly light gray eyelash trim and also this fun zigzag uh, turquoise color trim. And the great thing about this is she can untie this trim and use it in other projects if she likes. On the top here we've got this large rosette and I actually cut the rosette in the shapes of little tiny seahorses. I've lined the rosette with this pretty 
floral spray on the top and then on the bottom here. This is a, a vintage Art Nouveau image that I fussy cut. And then I included uh, this banner that says Love, Laugh, and Swim. At the bottom here, I finished it off with this fun light blue bow. On the back, I've included this light coral doily and then another mermaid and seahorse. This is my jumbo tag. This is a mermaid that I fussy cut out. She's three layers thick. I've also used more of my Martha Stewart glitter paints to give her a fun iridescent look. And here you've got a cute little sea turtle and then I've embellished it with more flowers with pearl trim. I've carried the flowers up at the top here and then finished it off with these pretty ribbons in this light iridescent gray and this organza turquoise blue. This is what the back looks like. I've included this fun little notepad with the fun seashells. This is a close-up of what the front looks like. On the bottom here you can see some of the seashells that are included on the paper. Uh, more of that pearl drop trim, the blue tool, and I've created an asymmetrical pocket here. This back image you can see uh, faint images of Little Mermaid swimming around. I love the way the tool looks popping up in the background here. And then here's more of that scallop trim on the top of the envelope. On the side this is a standing easel loaded envelope. This is the other side. This is a back and I really tried to do something that was a little different than the standard pockets that you typically see on loaded envelopes. I've created a half pocket and then another pocket here on the bottom. I've used this really fun holographic white paper as a background image and I also used a Sizzix punch to cut out more coral images. I cut out this seahorse, I think this is so pretty, on my Cricut and, and this has three layers. And I line the top of the pocket with this scroll trim. Inside we have this fun tag. I've created more coral detail here using my punch and then I line the coral with this pearl trim. You've got this beautiful vintage image of a mermaid and she's actually uh, attached to these three koi fish on the top here and I just created little beads of pearls. Back here we have a fun mermaid quote. I just use more of this light blue glitter tool here as a trim. I line the top of this pocket with a little border that says love laugh and swim and similar to the front I use more of this pearl trim and this glitter blue tool. Here we have another embellished paper clip, which is a rose, and I put some rock candy sparkle glitter on it. I made these bows. We've got some that have little seahorses and then some that have seashells. And then last but not least, I've included these fun little butterflies, again using more of that scroll trim, and it says, you are beautiful. Here's a close-up look of the back. As you can see, this is an expanded pocket. Well, this concludes my review of my mermaid loaded envelope. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.